G'day guys, welcome back to Adventure Prime Family. Today we're back in the shed, going to start building a cargo barrier. So once we've got this back loaded up full of shit, we go down the track or something, we're not having stuff, hit the kids in the head, hit me in the head, crash, die, you know. It's a bit of safety and it's good to have, I think, something else to mount things on. So, so I'll rip that fridge out. And then, yeah, I'm just going to... Run a bar across the back there, and I'll notch it out, notch it out around all the uh, stuff here, so it'll be a bit, of a bit of a custom fit. And then I'm thinking, I'm gonna have a shelf around uh, here somewhere that'll bolt on to where the back handles are, and just so I've got a bit of a shelf, to throw pillows or a table or something a bit more user friendly. So. And we'll go from there. Hopefully she'll hopefully she'll come out alright and yeah. Another job done. So first off, get this fridge out, start measuring up gear and put it in. So I'm going to just run one straight along the back there, I'll measure that up. And then yeah, we'll come out on an angle so it goes out past the, um, follows the seat. So I'll just notch it out here, come across, come up, and then yeah, just, and then yeah, we'll just follow the uh, roof line around and then same here. Probably come down here somewhere, notch it out around the charger and speaker and go down. So, Wait, will we paint the bars? Yeah, we'll paint it. Yeah. Paint it black or pink. Black. Black. <laughs> and then, yes, yeah, so, and then, uh, like I said, I'm going to run a shelf along here somewhere. So, I'll figure that out later on. First off, we'll uh, start getting some measurements. Rose girl. Yeah. So one meter and sixty-five millimeters. So we'll cut that one first. And then probably five hundred millimeters. Alright, so we're just using this 25 by 25 by 2 mil painted SHS. So it's nice and nice and light. Shouldn't be too much weight in it. Probably could have went thinner, but I'm not the best welder, and this will be a bit easier to weld than 1.6. So 
So, there we go. Hopefully it doesn't put too much weight in the car. If I like the design, Monday I might get an alloy one made up. But we'll just make it out of this for now and put a bit of mesh on it. And should be alright. So, start cutting her up. So I'm going to try and get a bit tricky and cut some angles into the steel. So it looks a whole lot neater. So I've just got a scrap bit of wood. Just making it flush to where I'm going to sit the... Um, the bottom bit of steel and I've got a sliding bevel just sit that flush on there on the end and then set this timber so it's following the angle of the chair the back of the seat so you can sort of yeah you get the idea anyway and then just set the sliding bevel to the same angle then you'll be able to hopefully replicate that onto the steel Well, hopefully. So I've got that fellow on the seat to where I want it to sit. I've set that bevel so it's on the same angle as that. And fingers crossed, that'll work. <laughs> So I'm going to try something tricky here, I've never done it before, so just got a half moon, traced around that, and I've sort of done a line down there because hopefully that's my angle to suit the roof line. <coughs> so yeah, I traced that, then I've gone from that edge, rolled it along, marked it there. Then I'm down, so I'll cut that out, cut along there, same on the other side, and hopefully, it should be nice and smooth. I shall see how it goes, eh? Fingers crossed. So yeah, just squared it all around, did the same on that side. <coughs> cut that bit out, and see how we go. So, moment of truth. Alright, day two on this um, cargo barrow. I got a couple of hours in the first day to go to my nephew's first birthday party, which is a good day. Then I've had a couple of adventure days from between, but now I'm back at it. So I've um, got the bottom half of the frame sort of tacked up, tacked together. Didn't video a lot of it. Uh, I was, yeah, in, out, in, out, tack, in, out, cut, tack, yeah. I haven't got a plan, just winging it, so 
I will try and video a bit more. But uh, I'm going to bolt that bit in to here. I'm just going to use a bit of a spacer. Just so it sits above that uh, sliding door. So I bolt that in there. Just so I can sit in. So I can see where it's all going to fit. And then I can go make the top bit, which I've sort of made. It's over there. Which I've sort of made. So I can cut the angles right. And get the length right so it all fits nice. So I bought that in now. Then I'll get this bit in. Hopefully it'll um, come around. Nice curve get the right length, right angle, and it could, yeah, angles every way. And then, yeah, I can tack him on, and should be right, hopefully. See how it looks, and that'll be the basic frame done, and I'll put a one length in the middle, and I'll smash it, so, doesn't have to be real strong, but strong enough. So, I'll get into that, and hopefully it works. Hopefully it looks all right. See how we go. All right, so I'm just going to drill a couple of holes through just for the screws to go through. And make it easy. I don't recommend doing this at all, but I'm lazy. So I'm just going to tack this in the car. Just put a bit of sheet metal on the ground here so I don't burn too much stuff. But I hope we don't get a fire, eh? Well.
Well, you guys nothing. Don't do as I do, do as I say. Take it out and weld it outside the car. Oh, that's for fucking nothing. Right, oh well. That's the general fit. I haven't welded it over there yet because I don't want to weld near my charger and all the 12 volt stuff so I'll just clamp that and try and pull it out in one piece and tack him up make sure she fits and weld her up right oh so that's the basic shape there is angles and shit going everywhere but hopefully it should fit okay but it's going to fit for what we need and I'm happy with that so I'll go around and tack everything up and I'll have a beer while I'm doing it but tack that up, tidy it up I could have done 45 degree cuts here and made it all neat but I'm just going to get a plug and plug in the end of it just couldn't be bothered there's enough to do with the angles. And I'm not no boily, just handy. So it will do the job that I need it to do and stop shit and hitting the kids in the back of the head. So that's all I need. So I'll get into it, weld this out, and hopefully should just bolt straight back in. So let's weld her out and get in there. So, that is her. Probably calling a night now, but probably a bit loud to be grinding a bit of shit, but I'll call it a night, get back into it tomorrow. I'll just put a bar straight across there, just so I've got something on the angle, so uh, the mesh has got something to weld on before it changes different angles. Make it look neater, and then I'll yeah, paint her up and throw on the big girl and start making the top shelf and it'll all bolt together and do its thing so should be nice and strong and all together well where's my bit well throw it in here tomorrow and see you in the morning i'll see you tomorrow up well guys afternoon number three uh, uh, yeah, last night I welded it all up, so now I'm just going to get the grinder out, 
and just slimish up the world. I want a nice smooth finish, so it looks like one piece. Can't see the world, so I'll grind that up and a couple of bits I want to cut off and tidy up and whatnot, but all in all, I'll have it ready for paint shortly. Bolt her in and then start making the shelf up there, so we'll get the grinder. I suppose I better find some glasses too. Make sure you're wearing the right safety gear for the job. Don't want to hurt yourself. Look after your eyes. Oh, and I'm not using a grinding wheel either, just using a flapper disc, just linishes it up, grinds the welds back, there's not a great deal to grind back, They're pretty flat anyway, so this does a nice job, get a nice finish, and away you go, easy to paint, and another hint, when you cut and grind and whatever, make sure you're not shooting sparks, at the car or glass, sparks melt into glass, they don't melt into plastic, so just uh, just a little bit, don't shoot them at your windows, they'll be spotty, you'll never get them out unless you change the windows, or camera lenses for that matter. She's all made up. Still in a start. She's all nice and smooth. Ready for paint. I'm just going to test fit it in there now. Make sure she fit. A better bloody fit. But uh, yeah, for a welder, I'll make a pretty good grinder. So we'll uh, get this in. Make sure it fits. And I'll probably start making that frame actually for the shelf up the top. And then I'll get some uh, sheets of mesh to put on it, weld onto it. Then I'll paint it all up and bolt it all in. And Bob's your bloody auntie. We've got a uh, cargo barrier and a shelf at the back. Can't wait. <laughs> do it. Forgot to put this bar in so figured I would sit it in there. Figured I'd sit it in there so I can place it where I want it where it looks good. I think it may be there. That's where it changes angles, so I'll put it there, I think. That'll make it easier to weld the uh, mesh under.
that's pretty well made. Just needs a mesh. So I've got that pretty well bolted into where I want it. Now I will just measure up the dimensions of the frame for the shelf. So I can uh, make that up. Should just be a rectangle. I hope it's a rectangle. Yeah, I'm gonna need a notepad. What have we got? Ah, something that's always lying around. Makes a good notepad. Draw a plan on. Oh no, it's that. Uh, I'll go 500. Twelve twenty. Bye. Twelve twenty. Told you. Rectangle. Brackets, 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 yeah, but I'll have to measure them brackets, but I'll make this frame up, get the mesh, get the mesh on it, and make sure she's right. Right, oh, so, now it's just a flat rectangle, I'm gonna cut all the, cut all the ends on 45s, so we've got a nice square box, no open joint, no open holes. And it'll look a shitload neater, but the other one will look alright. I've got plugs to throw in there. Open bits, open holes, plug them up. What do you do with the hole? You fill it. So I'll uh, cut this, cut these, and yeah. So the overall measurement's 500 by 1200. So you go from the long end of the 45 to the long end of the 45, and that will be your overall measurement. That'll keep it all in spec. So I'll cut this up, get it so it's all beautiful. And I'll have to wait for Caprice to get home from school. So teach her to weld it up. She can have a crack at welding. And I might clean this shit show up, shed up a bit. Give me something to do for the rest of the day. So yeah, fair bit of cleaning. Alright, oh, nice. so that'll be our shelf, nice and square. With uh, nice and easy welds. Fingers crossed, Caprice can mold them. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna wait for Caprice to come back from school. She can help weld up this. I'm gonna clean this, whatever you call it now. Shit show you call for a shed. Alright, see the summer. Alright, so I'll pick Caprice up from school. She's going to be welding, so I'll put this down and I'll teach her to weld and see how we go. See how our first welds look like. They're not going to be that good. <laughs> so yeah, first things first. She's got long pants. She's even got jeans and boots on. Need some gloves. Yeah. So she's not going to hurt herself. She likes to do what I say, not what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll get some gloves and we'll get into teaching her how to well.
pasta. Oh, that's our Tracy's first world. Looks like bird poop. Yeah. <laughs> but you will get better than what you do. You just gotta get used to it. Move a bit slower and have the a bit closer. So I got her all uh, welded up and linished back so she's nice and smooth, all the joints are clean. So now I'm going to get this mesh. It's just a bit of stuff that actually my brother had laying around. And cut it to suit around the edges, just where, wherever I need to. Tack welding on. And I'll put the join on this bath. I'll run two sheets, one up top, one down the bottom because of the angle change, just to make it neat. So yeah, I'll get along, I'll cut that out, and cut this bottom one out, water on, and that's that bit ready for paint. tack this on here just so it doesn't move while I'm cutting and cutting the other one so everything fits and it's all bloody beautiful now yesterday you might have seen me welding with shorts on done it before and I've had the same outcome don't do it welding causes weld burn it's like sunburn when you're wearing shorts and you're welding down there, where's where's the light going up? It hurts. Wear jeans. At least long pants. Yeah. If you've done it, you know what I'm talking about. It's not pleasant to be sunburnt there. So yeah, wear jeans. Look after your um, bits. This is going to do my head in. These are all lined up. 
you move along here these are out it's the same size mesh oh well righto got all the mesh on cut out weld it on i weld it all up the sides and i've just tacked it in a couple of spots along the center top and bottom a uh, little tip when you're just welding these little when you're welding these little end bits these little skinny bits turn your welder down you don't need it as hot and start on the thick bit of the metal of the steel and then just flick it up to the little dick and that'll nine times out of ten stick it on there so but yeah it can get frustrating welding that little shit but when you're not a welder a bit like me but uh take your time turn the welder down turn the welder down a little bit and just yeah start on the thickest bit first and then just work up to the thinner bit so it doesn't melt as way as quick so uh i will get the grinder with the buffer wheel and just buff around these edges take any sharp bits off so no one can hurt themselves hopefully and just yeah get the wire wheel and just take all the dags off and if you're wondering what weld I'm using, I'm just using a SIG weld, just a little SIG weld. It's only 135 amp uh, MIG. It's a nice little, nice little MIG. Um, just got it for super cheap. Well, a few years ago now, it's only fairly cheap. So you just got your wire feed speed, and you got your output voltage. What, how hot you want to be welding? And I'm just using a little gasless MIG wire at the moment. I haven't got a gas bottle, so I've got a, the welds aren't as good, but they will hold. And I just got to clean up more. So that's the little unit. If you're looking to get one and you're only doing a little bit of welding, it's cheap. It's only probably three, four hundred bucks. I'll put a link in the description of probably a bit more than what I paid for it back in the day, but. Uh, yeah, I'll put a link in the description if you want. Have a look at these welders, just super cheap. They're only cheap. I have made a Charlie using this uh, exact machine with the gasless MIG wire. Trailer was going well, but uh, I did a good job. So, can get good welds. It's only cheap. Good starting unit. I do want a bigger one, but I don't use it that much, to be honest. So, this will do. And being a MIG, nice and easy. Pull the trigger, away you go. So, yeah, have a look. If you're looking for a MIG, it's not a bad unit. Jump on it. Right, eh? so I've uh, just hung this up on the kid's swing set. Just took a swing down, hung it up on the hook, a bit of string line, make it easier to paint. So, I will paint that bad boy and should be in the sun all day to dry. Get a couple of coats on it and she'll be sweet. I'm just using this Dulux, what's it, metal shield epoxy enamel. Uh, it protects against rust and whatnot, so it's a good product. It's nice and shiny, gloss black, should be sweet. When you're painting, messing no. stuff, you got to go up one way, back the other way, just so it gets all over it. It's all behind the um, 
gets all behind the mesh and covers everything. Well, that is her. Pretty happy with that. Well, I'll let that dry, get into the making the shelf, and I'll come back and give it another coat a couple of hours or so. Right, oh, so I've just made up these brackets, just had a bit of flat plate, just bent them up so I can bolt them up onto the oh shit handles, and then the shelf will sit on top of that. I can clamp it together, pull it down where it needs to sit, and then tack it together. So that should be heat strong, strong enough. I think it's only, it was 100 by 125, and then bent it up. So that'll be sweet. That'll be nice and strong. Right, eh? There we have it. She's all painted up. Looking pretty bloody smick, I reckon. Look at that. Nice and smooth. Beautiful. Yeah, it looks like I brought one. Alright, well, I'll pull this off and throw it in the car. But first, I forgot. I've got to throw some of those in to fill these holes. So, just 25 mil by 25 mil plugs. Push them in. Bit of a hit. Solved. So, got eight of those. One here. Hole's gone. So I'll throw the other four over there. Then I can bolt her up. <clears throat> that pretty proud if I don't say so myself she's all cut in fits everything just off the roof there comes down around the speaker and this still pulls out that's that bit done nearly looks like it should be there so Hard bit is done, so pretty keen, pretty chuffed. So, well, I might be making them for resale, but just proves anyone can make. Put your mind to it, anyone can make it. We are done. Finished this cargo barrier in the shelf. I reckon it's coming for right. So, let's have a look. There she is. Got the shelf up there. Plenty of room for. Well, stand a beer in a bit. So, uh, plenty of room for pillows or I don't know, anything up there, tables, 
chairs, everything. So, and I normally find that's I normally find that's a bit of wasted space up there once you get a bit too high. Hence why I put the cargo barrier in so I can load it up. And the shelf, that's just a little bit extra. So, it just stops everything being packed on top and just squishing everything. So, and yeah, I'll throw in the fridge slide in now. You'll see that on the earlier video. Um, but yeah, so I didn't film too much of putting the shelf in. It was a pain in the ass by myself. If you had an extra set of hands, it would have been easy. But you saw me make up the brackets and the shelf itself. So what I did, I just screwed those two screws in with the brackets, both sides, sat this in. Then I clamped it, clamped the brackets to the shelf on both sides, pulled it out, welded up. And you see at the front there, I've put two screws, no, two bolts to the cargo barrier. So everything's folded together. It's not going anywhere. She saw it as, so. And then, yeah, welded it up, tacked it up, put the mesh on it. Whoop, put some mesh on it, tacked it on. Ground all the sharp bits off so no one can uh, hurt themselves. And she's all sorted, so pretty happy with that. Nice little DIY. If I can do it, you can do it. And hopefully, this video helps someone out because I've had a look and there's not a great deal in the way of uh, cargo barriers to sell online, Facebook, internet, whatever. And if you got anything like mine, you got different shit going on everywhere, you're going to want a custom one anyway, so. That suits my needs, that'll do more than what I needed to do, so I'm pretty happy. And, yeah. If you got any questions, hit us up in the comments below. Hit the like, subscribe, see what I'm coming out with next. I'm not sure what we're going to do next. There'll be a couple of things in the pipeline, but cross that bridge when we get to it so keep tuned keep looking for what we're coming out with next and any questions hit us up so well i'm going to enjoy this ice cold beverage and it's friday half so i might bloody have another one till next time guys catch you later